Welcome to my level 50 video. I'm going to show you a quick clip of me reaching level 50 and then we're going to go into my gear, my stats, what I'm running with, how I got here and etc. So here's a footage of me actually reaching it and getting very very excited because it's been a long old grind. It's been one hell of a grind. Right? Check it! Yes, we got it! Finally! Boom! We're up to 550, five baby! Level 50, get! Woo! Okay, and welcome! So, I'm level 50 now. I'm level 50. Level 50, what? So I finally got hit. So let's go through my stats and what got me there. Because Lord knows it's been a grind. So later in the game, I got the Black Market RPK 74E, which has been serviceable. I'm just running with it, enjoying trying to play as a LMG run. I don't really like it. I prefer the Vector. The Vector's been very good. It's been instrumental in me getting my level 50. It's very good even without high-end attachments. And I did a video with it having the high-end attachments uh, a couple of weeks ago. And it it just destroys. So it's got 10k damage. I re-rolled it a while back and I got better stats. The Midas was okay, but then once it got nerfed, it just wasn't as good. The Caduceus, or whatever it's called was very good. I highly recommend using that gun if you like assault rifles. It's very good. You can see the damage on it is 9,000 RPM. is pretty decent. The mag is good. Mag is even better when you've got a kind of high-end weapon attachment on it as well. And the DPS on my actual character is very good. You can see up here Got 83, then you've got 96,954, which I am very happy with. Once I, I made the switch because I was struggling in the dark zone to take enemies down with my skill build. Because you mainly play solo, so the actual DPS is highly important to me, having it at 2,800. I'm trying to build my stamina back up because my stamina took quite a hit when I was trying to make that build. So I think later on I'm going to probably try and get as much stamina as I can and try and make it equal as much as I can with firearms so I can be a very, very good tank. So what else have I got? I've got the Damascus as my secondary just because I never use it because I pick up a lot of ammo. It's a good pistol, very good pistol. But I don't use it that much. I'm using the hybrid pads here. I've got plus 250 on the armor. And then resistance, resistance, resistance. My mods aren't very good. So I need to make some high-end mods. Make some purchases. Make it rain up there in that church in the Dark Zone. Dark Zone 6. I've got the Spec Ops mask. Again, it's got it's got plus 90 on the skill for the electronics. Which I'd rather that in the firearms. But you can't have everything, can you? Really, again, 10% damage to elites, which is very helpful. And also 9% kill XP. You want to really get as much plus kill XP you want. And also damage to elites really. Because you're going to want to go for those boss runs. I've got this. This just beats everything. I haven't managed to make anything or buy anything that is better than this assault vest for some reason. It's also modded as well. What mods have I got on it actually? Yeah, bleed resistance, sticky bomb. I haven't managed to find anything that's got a turret which I prefer using. This is just amazing. I haven't found anything better than this yet. Really, it's level 31, so it's it's pretty decent. And we've got plus 368 armor on it, which is amazing, and increases your backpack capacity, which is pretty decent. So I also have the Spec Ops gloves. Again, plus 559, which is pretty sweet. Plus 11% health on kill, but only has 8% on the sticky bomb damage, which I don't use at all. So, 
And then assault rifle damage, so that's good when I'm rocking the assault rifle. Very, very good, actually. It helps a lot. And then the holster. Well, I haven't found anything better than this just yet. The pulse critical damage is when I use the longer range turret, which is pretty sweet. And then again, plus armor, and it's rocking two skills. So it's boosting my stamina, which is very, very helpful. But my next aim really is to balance these out and get these talents to actually work. Because I've only got Unforgiving, which is the standard one. On these, I've got high ends. I'm probably going to move the high end back onto the Vector. Or probably I'm going to switch because I don't like playing the LMG at all. It's not doesn't really suit me. It's a good gun. It just doesn't suit my playstyle. But anyway, that has been me. I hope you enjoyed that video. And I will see you very soon with another Division video. Toodle pip. Hit that like and subscribe, please. Bye.